Uh, again, so this is this is a paper first authored by by, by Sasha. Um, you're you're stuck with me, and I will do my best to answer questions on this paper. Um, so so you've seen our previous paper. You can probably see where the motivations for this paper arose from. But let let me just recap. So. Um, SASREC uh, and BERT for REC are two transformer-based um, recommender models. So SASREC aims to predict the input sequence shifted by one element. It uses causal self-attention, so the attention focuses only backwards towards what's previously um, been shown to the model, and we use the last item for prediction. BERT for REC, on the other hand, is based on, yes, the BERT the BERT language model, um, we, it uses cor a corrupted inputs into, by using masking for training and applies this kind of full attention. So um, the, 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 the attention looks both forward and, ba and backwards, okay? So therefore, to make a prediction, we, 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 we give it the mask token and ask to see what it is that the model should, should, should return. So in the, in the original BERT for REC paper, um, Bert for Rec was shown to be significantly better than SAS. Uh, yeah, so I, I, th I think there's also there's another disadvantage for Bert for Rec in as much it doesn't scale to the same number of items as SAS Rec, for inst uh, as, as SAS Rec. So, so I, I agree with you that there are there are advantages in in, in, in yeah. SAS Rec. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, yeah, the incremental inference or the uh, inference time could also be one uh, match. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for the. I don't have other question about the results. It's it's pretty good. Okay, thank okay, you. Thank you. Thanks a lot for the presentation. It's very interesting and insightful uh, work. Um, my question is about the, uh, the point that you raised in the second presentation. In the original uh, uh, REC, the author didn't specify the amount of training that's required, right, mm -hmm. for reaching uh, good performance. But I want to understand and learn from you your thoughts about uh, this point um, and how it relates to the um, assumption that you bought in the first paper that you want to train the model within one hour and see the performance. I think this might be a little bit unfair uh, because you bought one hour and then it, the model might not reach to an acceptable performance and the results that you reported um, may not be uh, reflecting the uh, upper bound of the performance of each of these models that you reported. Sure. So, so the first point about the about the setting. So, I, I've I've put here a, a pre-prepared slide. Um, the original Bert for Rec code did not have any form of early stopping. Um, I think while the the implementations that we're showing here, for instance, are have early stopping after something like 200 epochs with no improvement on the valid on, on a validation set. So, in 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 this case, you, you we are seeing fully converged models. Um, after at like one hour's training um, for, for, for our Bert for Rec, the hugging face based one. Okay, thank you. Uh, our time is up. Um, there's more questions online, some of them repeated here. Let's thank, thank, thank Craig again for doing two talks repeatedly. <laughs> and, and also, I think it's important to um, thank Sasha, who couldn't make it. Um, but I know I reviewed, I know, five or six papers for this conference. That was a lot. How many papers that uh, she read for this? Uh, Sasha read, he read um, 300. Papers. He looked at 370 papers and looked okay. at in detail at 40 of those that had the comparisons that we were interested in. So let's 